It's part of the thing in our dream. I see it. This looks like something I dreamed. Or something. We did. It's familiar some ways. Back then, they thought the trolleys would stay on the track. Come a big flood. But now, they went right along with the water. Bobbing up and down. Crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you going to do? Dam up the river? Dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like visiting some place beyond the grave. Like where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh, yeah. You gonna look around? Have to say, not much back this far, usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Get caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Um, there's this lock. Wonder what this used to lock up. A really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe. Or secret. Do I want to take this? No. It's just junk now. And I got nothing to lock up anyways. We're gonna take this musical instrument. Wow. Wonder if it still works. Should probably clean all the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Yes. Oh, it made noise. It's really pretty. You should have someone to appreciate it. Like, it's really cool. Like, I'm, I'm picking the opposite of everything. Like, before I picked the, the, the lock and key because I liked its symbolism. But in a way, this, uh, this trombone is good, too, because it's one of the instruments from our dream. And we will be soon encountering two people with similar instruments. Find anything good? Horn. Looks like a pack horn, maybe. I'm going to clean it out. Maybe play it. Or at least make it make some noise. Good plan. It's real pretty. Shame to leave it down here. You rescued it. I'm a hero. I'll call the papers. And since we cleared out the bats, we get to do this now. Yay! Here we are. Wow. I gotta make sure to walk down the whole length of the platform because you can accidentally, like if you look just at the mural, you can accidentally leave this place early. Yeah. You wanna look down here first. <laughs> what? There's some beer cans and a mattress back here. And a spot where a fire was. And a sock. And some weed, it looks like. <laughs> Someone did some partying back here. <laughs> oh, that must be new. Teens. It was the teens. There is nowhere you can go that teens have not been already. Oh god, the mattress. That's unsavory. Whose idea was it to get high drunk and then boink? Way back here. It does seem a lot of trouble to go to. This is hilarious. It's very funny. So, that's the thing you can miss. And once we look at this, we trigger the end. So that's it. That's the other mural. It's so... Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the only thing back here that survived the flood. I just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Forgotten, maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. I wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologists will find it and wonder what it meant. 
Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will remember what it... Oh, gosh. Sometimes I think in 50 years no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out and then fall apart. You okay, May? Yeah. I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. All done. We got spits. We did it. So now we know what the other end of this mural looks like and why it was so upsetting to see that it got defaced. It's In a way, it's kind of sad. It's a town that just can't keep up with the times and it can't, can't grow. It can't update, and so eventually it's probably just gonna fall apart and be gone, and all of those memories and experiences of all those people will go with it. There you are, roof person! I'll be with you in a sec. Hey there, buddy! Hey! Hello. I'm May! Hello, May. I'm Salem. Are you a busker? Or are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. There's holes in this roof. <laughs> cool. And that is all I can say to Salem. Let's go and talk to her. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone. And I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. I hear that cat purring up on the roof. What's it about? Um, lady finds a window in her wall that wasn't there before. Ooh, I like that premise. And it's like looking at her backyard, but it's always sunset. And there's that guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Really? I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where'd the idea come from? Like a lot of horror movies that are really gory, but gory isn't always scary. I agree. So I was thinking of what's scary, and I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new. Or maybe you just never noticed it before? And there's someone strange very nearby. And, uh, I don't know. Tension is scary, is what you mean, dear. What? Nothing. <sighs> Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya! Later. Alright, let's go talk to this kitty on the roof. Nothing to say to Sleepy Kitty? Such good kitty. Let's go see my rat babies. They're all out on the porch now. <laughs> well, I don't need to see my rat babies, but there is a room in here. So let's go see the room. To the room! To the room. Miss Miranda should meet whoever lives here. They can talk fridges. I could like 
see what's in this dresser. May, is this what it's come to? You're stealing from a stranger's weird apartment? What even are you doing with yourself? And they probably don't have anything good. So there's no excuse. It must be weird to sleep in this bed every night. Alone in the building. Except for Tell is off to a couple first down. Maybe they work there. Just come downstairs in their pajamas? Hey everybody, I just woke up and I live at work. Oh god, this sounds horrible. Closet. What's even in this closet? I feel some shoes. Some shirts, I think. Okay, they've got a golf club or something. Oh, weird, they have a sword in here? I could take the sword and rob a bank? Hands up, citizen. I'll jam the sword in your neck. <laughs> I can wear a mask and a cape. Who was that dashing thief? That threatened to stab the bank teller in the neck. Oh, my life is a wreck. I'd probably stab my own neck on accident. Get together, May. But seriously, where does this person pee? Whoa. Uh, okay, I like, I like didn't actually leave the, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. So there's nothing else up here. Piss off. Um, but... Anything over here? No. So, they're just talking about coffee. This is where we'll go in a bit. Oh! <sighs> War is some bullshit. You hear me, statue? Guess you were drafted. Ugh. You died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. It's garbage. They can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other war stuff. I'll live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. It'll be awesome. Oh. I'm with you, May. War does suck. I can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. That raccoon lady has been pregnant since forever. I believe if I talk to him, he'll ask if I want to go up to the, the thing. Oh, no, not yet. I believe Angus is like day two. Yeah, he'll offer, but we're not going to take him up on it today. So I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? No. We're going to skip talking to Greg entirely, actually. He doesn't really have anything to say other than, yes! Other than, do you want to go to the park? So now we can go on the roof and get the last piece that we were missing. Yes. All right. One, two, three. There it is. Let's open this. Bye! That's all of them. 
You'd think you'd get an achievement for that, but you do not. Yeah! Hello, birds. Hello, birds. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Birds, it's for dirts. Whoa, pentagram. Doesn't prove anything. We're teens. Spooky though. We found a pentagram. Another one will be on a donut and in a bathroom. Well, in Greg's they were on a donut and in a bathroom. I think it'll be in a graveyard now. Um, hello. Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing here, up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. Same way I found it. Did you know? This is the only stage in town. Are you on stage a lot? Nope, not for a long, long time at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna like, put on something here? Oh, I don't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. <laughs> that it is, that it is. Funny. What? I just met this guy over by the church steps. He was also hanging by himself and playing music. Small world. <laughs> well, small town at least. Definitely. See ya. So now that we've met them both, we can tell him about her tomorrow. Do 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 boop it down. Yep. We can go talk to the man in the window now. Do 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 do. And then we can go talk to Germ. And then we can go and hang with me. BB. What's in the news? Yam shortage this Thanksgiving. Oh, jeez, we need the yams. Better get them now before they're gone. There's gonna be like yam riots because not enough yams. Worse reasons. TV. All right, let's go talk to these two guys. Smelters? Hi, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? No, no, just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Are you guys getting a divorce? <laughs> You can't do that to us. Think of your smelter-based children. I don't know what a smelter-based child would be. Dear! Do I know you? No. Oh. Aren't you Greg's cousin? No. You really look like his cousin. His cousin is a woman. And also a coyote. This is a male deer. Not his cool cousin, Jen. Oh, okay. Like the other cousin? No. Who are you then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. I don't know why everyone became Southern. Town council, we're a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demoning an inner structural and municipal service. <laughs> Hold on, let me draw that from the top. Supposed to be demoing an infrastructural and municipal service management program. 
What? Helps you manage things like snowplows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know, lots of places are just scared of new things. Just want to keep things like they are forever, falling apart. It's frustrating. You are really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Could you program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all going to be robots anyway, so... Jeez, yeah. <laughs> That's what they said about the self-checkout. But that never actually happened, did it? I'm kidding, of course. But they did find out that people weren't particularly interested in bagging their own shit and basically checking themselves out when they had more than, like, two items. <laughs> I got it! You're Donna's cousin! Yeah. She used to babysit me! Oh, wow. Are you the kid that killed a bird with her mace? It was an accident, and I was like nine. <laughs> I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died, like instantly, just... <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. Okay. That poor bird. And poor May. She didn't mean to do it. Little kids don't know what Mace is. Be nice if we could get into the food donkey because I know later on our rat babies make a house here, but since we didn't hang out with Greg, I don't think that's a thing. Hey. What? Wanna hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I didn't think you're gonna get... I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Yeah, sure. Hop on my bike. Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could, like, run behind. Okay, fine. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of my followers over on Patreon and give a special shout out to Daniel H, Jack Fox, Desarin, Pompidou, and Jan Shalen. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Like what you saw? Have thoughts you want to share? Let me know in a comment. Want to help my channel grow? Then share with your friends or subscribe so that you never miss a new video. If you'd like to help me out and get some neat rewards, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, you guys. I really couldn't do it without you.